This is Max Williams with United Real Estate Today. I'm in Western Henrico. More specifically, I am off the Glentide Road corridor. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath brick rancher. This renovated brick rancher is located here on about a third of an acre. We've got a nice mature trees. Uh, we've got a driveway that comes right down the side there, uh, parking uh, directly ahead on the gravel and in the rear. This home underwent a major rehab to include windows, new dimensional roof, a new flooring, new kitchen, a new heating and air system, just a complete rehab. And uh, if you are the type of person that likes one level living, this might be right for you. Here in the rear of the lot, we do have a detached one car garage. It is all brick. There's actually a little workshop space uh, in that garage as well. It has a new roof uh, here on the rear, as I mentioned, all brick and uh, just a good good amount of space here for someone to enjoy we've got uh partial shading here with the tree so if you the type that wants to do a garden there's plenty of space to do that they are finishing up some last minute touches on this home so it's about 98 percent complete but i think you'll get a good idea of what it has to offer we've got a rear door there we'll see that here momentarily from the inside as with many careers, uh, agents have online forums uh, where they can talk, they can network, they can vent, they can share information. And uh, it's really useful, especially for newer agents that may come across situations where they don't know quite how to handle it. And I um, had an interesting post not long ago. Uh, an agent was working with a buyer who was in the entertainment industry and uh, her income was derived typically $1 at a time. Uh, that's not a problem from a lending standpoint if someone files taxes and goes about it the normal route however she uh, was a little behind in filing her taxes and uh, as a result that makes it really really difficult to get traditional financing uh, however many agents chimed in that there is a way potentially for a lender to do what we call a bank statement loan the lender will pretty much look at the bank statements and show that the borrower has uh, significant income coming in or enough income coming in to qualify for the mortgage and will do the loan accordingly. They typically will have a, a stronger down payment requirement. The interest rate will typically be higher for this specialty loan, but it's a good option for someone that may be self-employed and maybe takes a lot of write-offs. Uh, that goes back to the whole thought when I, I mentioned that it's important to think about your purchase early in the process. If you're self-employed and you know that in a year or two that you're going to potentially be buying a home, you might want to back off all of those deductions that you would normally take if that's going to have an impact on your purchasing power. If you talk to a lender early, they can look at your numbers, analyze the situation and coach you accordingly. So it's important to make sure that you do that early in your process. Uh, the common school of thought is that, hey, if you've got a good credit score and uh, you've got income, you're good to go. And that's not necessarily true. All income is not created equal. Let me give you another example. Let's say someone doesn't make as much money as they would like in order to qualify for the home that they desire. And they pick up a, a part-time job driving Uber or, um, some other part-time employment. And they say, hey, I'm gonna do this for six months so I can get my income up in order to show the lender and then I'll be able to qualify for more house. And that's good in theory. However, it's not gonna work in practical terms because the lender is gonna wanna see two years of that part-time income. Uh, income, by and large, as long as it is regular and you can document it, the lenders will typically accept it. Whether it be disability, SSI, pension, child support, child support, it does have to come a certain way. And each loan product, each lender has their own guidelines, but typically child support, if it's coming regularly, uh, they will count that. And uh, so it just makes it much, much easier if people know upfront what they're looking at as far as qualifying income. All right, we are in the hall bath. Uh, this is unusual to have a three bedroom home with two and a half bath. We normally don't see that kind of bathroom count, 
We are now in the master. The beautiful thing about the master is we've got not only one closet there, they just simply have to put up the rods, but we also have a walk-in closet and we don't see many walk-in closets in homes built in this year. So that's the beauty of a renovated home that is older. We also have a master bath here, which is really nice. They did a great job here with this tile work. You guys know I'm a big fan of the square shower heads, which is beautifully, beautifully done. And we're gonna transition now back to our kitchen area. A couple things I wanted to point out here uh, that are really, really neat. Um, we've got a nice size area here. I imagine this is where they envisioned maybe a small dinette going. Uh, we've got beautiful white cabinets, a granite countertop, stainless steel appliances all convey. Those washers and dryers, of course, would convey as well. Nice crown molding, did some nice, nice touches in here. And uh, with this refrigerator, this is new for me here. Um, when I first saw this, I thought initially it was some type of uh, screen, some type of uh, LCD screen. But then when you push the button and open, you've got a little compartment here with a probably a nine inch deep uh, section. You push it in again and then just pull it out and now that whole door opens up. So that's a really, really neat feature. On the other side, uh, the ice maker is right behind there. So you've got ice and water in the door. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've got glide and access here as their trademark and then we've got easy reach. So I don't know about you, but sometimes in the middle of the night when I'm getting food, it's just a struggle to get in, to get the food. So easy reach is a definite nice, nice feature. Also, if their food is too easy to reach, they were smart enough here. I'm not sure if you guys can read that or not, but it says door alarm lock. So if access is too easy, we've got an alarm that you can put on and you truly know that you've made it in life when you're able to purchase a home with a Wi-Fi capability. That's amazing. We've got refrigerators now, ladies and gentlemen, with Wi-Fi capability. You won't see that on anybody else's home tour. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. Reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so, so much for taking the tour. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd be so kind enough. Have a great day.